Hey guys, uh, check this out. So my dad uh, gave me this old uh, generator, it's hand crank generator. It's from the uh, war times. It is uh, probably older than me. It's, it sure is older than me. It doesn't have any markings. He told me it is a 24 volt generator. It is used, uh, I guess, in bunkers where there is no power grid, so you can have uh, lights uh, and such. So uh, let's check it out. It looks, it looks really old, and uh, it's dirty. So we could uh, see if it works. If it doesn't, we could fix it and make it look uh, like new again. Okay, so uh, I mounted the camera right here, so you can see it. So this is uh, used with both hands like this and it should generate 24 volts uh, to light uh, I guess to light a room up not to, not sure how many amps uh, this should uh, get but let's see let's see if it works it came with this cut uh, cut off cable so we are going to strip the cable first It even has a ground ground wire. That's kind of cool, I guess. This is really old copper wire. It's all almost black. I am going to use this connector to connect other things like uh, voltmeter and stuff like that to it, so we can measure measure the voltage and the current flowing through these wires. Not sure if I'm gonna just clean this or paint it, make it look really good as new, like sand it down, sand the old, old uh, paint down and just spray, spray the new one. So leave a comment down below and let me know if, know if you want to see it restored or just, I don't know, cleaned. I think it would look great in a new army green color. Okay, for a voltmeter I'm going to use, this is actually voltmeter, amp meter in one. I'm going to use this LCD one because it has a backlight screen so you can see it better. So first I'm going to use this to check the polarity. I don't want to fry my display over here. So we are going to put it in a 200 volt DC range. I'm gonna hook it with this alligator clip just to check the polarity. Okay, now that you can see voltmeter, I'm going to turn this. Okay, we are generating DC current here. And if you notice, the voltage uh, slowly dropped without turning this uh, handle. That means it probably have some capacitors inside. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good thing since they are old now. Uh, but we are going to take a look inside later. Let's Now that we know our polarity, let's hook our display that you can see the voltage better. Okay, I fixed the display in place, so I hope that you can see uh, voltage. As you can see, it works. Let me zoom in. Now that we know this works, uh, let's put, let's try to put a load, so uh, we can see how much current it generates. Okay, for the first load, we are going to use this 12 volt light bulb. Uh, I actually don't think uh, I can generate 50 watts uh, of electricity by my hands, uh, but let let's try it out. Here we go. 
As you can see nothing happened, so uh, I think that this is too much load for the for the actual generator. Okay, for our second load we are going to try to use this DC to DC step down converter. So it will take 24 volts from this generator and uh, step down a little so we can uh, so we can use uh, lower voltages. Uh, which are more useful for me because I don't have any 24 volt uh, appliance or a load here so this will this will be much better for us okay I have connected the uh, step down converter and let me just see if it turns on it turns on it, uh, it has this red LED and it uh, lights lights on when it has uh, input current. Okay, a different setup here. This voltmeter will show the output voltage of this uh, voltage regulator, and this voltmeter here will show the volts and amps going in, uh, going out from the generator and in this uh, step down converter. So let's we are going to turn this on. And let's crank it up so we can see how many volts we can get in the output. We are getting 1.2 volts in the output of this converter, so we are going to take it up. We can get uh, 12 volts out. But our light bulb is not shining, so let me just see what's going on. This time I'm going to use these alligator clips to connect my load, so it will be much easier for me. Okay, so we have 12 volts in the output of this regulator, let's try to light this bulb. Okay, this generator is pretty beefy to run a 50 watt, I think it's 50 watt uh, bulb, 55 volt bulb, but it is really hard to crank it. Let me try that again. Okay, once you get it to 24 volts, it uh, it becomes easy to crank it because I guess you have to fill the capacitor, so it uh, makes it even harder to to start. Uh, but once you crank it to 24 volts, it becomes easy. I'm out of breath here. Okay, let's try this again. Once I start it, I can I could, I could even run it with one hand. So this really efficient device. I mean, for the time, of course. This bulb is burning my desk. Even I saw it smoke. I bet I could even pull a hundred watts with this generator, but I would need to crank it up first. Then I would need someone to flick the switch. Okay, now that we know it works, let me try to open it up and see what we have inside. Sorry for the lighting, it it sucks, but not sure how to help you out here. Let me unscrew this lid so we can take a look inside. This is made for military use probably, so it, you know it has to be a certain quality level. For it to stand uh, stand up to military type abuse. Oh wow! It really stinks. <laughs> For real, it's 
it stinks really bad. Okay, take a look here. So it has, I think, four levels of uh, transmission here. First one, second, third and fourth. So look at that, I, I can even, I can just push it a little, look at how fast this is spinning. This is really a nice gearbox here. It's all metal, it's really, it looks like new if you consider, consider its age. So, in the back we do have some electronic circuit here. I can see, I think this is a old style transistor here. I can see some resistors inside. These, these are windings here. Really, really beefy, beefy looking windings. I don't know if you can see here. That's some thick wire. So you know it can put out a lot of amps. And check out this connector, it's really awesome connector. I'm probably going to change this cable because of all the corrosion. But look at this. Just give me a second, it's all... Look at this. This is some beefy connector and it has o-ring inside. So it's probably waterproof. And look at this. A seal. And it's really... It looks good. I don't think I will change it. Oh nice, look at this. This is a uh, bridge rectifier, full bridge rectifier with uh, six diodes. So that means this is a three-phase generator and it's connected in a star formation. You see some more diodes. See, this, is, this part is uh, probably some kind of regulation. So it has a constant 24 volts at the output. These are pins from the connector I just showed you. Uh, some resistors and the capacitor. I told you there is a capacitor. I, I can't really see it inside. Maybe this one. Not sure. I, I'm going to snoop around and try to find it, but uh, these are some transistors, probably one of the ones that I saw here. Uh, some resistors. I don't know, it probably has some feedback from the output uh, here. And it uh, regulates the output voltage with these two transistors. This is some old technology, but it works so well. I mean, you have to first crank it up to 24 volts before uh, turning the lights on because it really gives you hard time uh, to fill the cap and to gain the voltage. So, thank you guys for watching, sticking around to the end. Uh, please subscribe so you can see the restoration process I'm going to make and tell me if you uh, want me to paint it or just clean it. Thanks for watching, like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in another video. Oh and uh, one more thing, if anyone knows anything about this generator, uh, what make is it modeled, where, where was it made, uh, what was its uh, purpose? Uh, just write me down in the comments and I will pin the comment for everyone to see. Thank you so much and see you later.